So with Nekoark, I, I, I know uh, she was in the old game as well. I don't know anything about this character outside of the fact that they're kind of just like a joke. They're like the serve bot of the game. It's crazy. There's lots of them. And they make lots of references to, to things. So they finally made it into the game outside of the the boss mode. Because in Type Lumina, they, they weren't a character, but they did talk to you. Uh, so you'd see like their character portrait and, and whatnot. But, but now they're actually going to be a character in the game again. Uh, so Lumi Arc, a cat awakened to a new power of remake descends on so yeah so, so we're gonna watch the trailer then we're gonna go back over it uh probably dissect the little bit that we can probably oh <laughs> boy they're jamming you're you know i'm gonna play this kid they're also adding uh two new stages too along with the characters Uh, from from what they said about the character is goddamn. Oh my god, they're a streamer, <laughs> they're a VTuber. <laughs> um, oh my god, <laughs> I need to play this character. <laughs> um, uh, from what they told us about the character. Uh, is that they're always all over the screen? They're they're they're, they're wacky and crazy and, and and just they're the Looney Tunes character of the game, but they're hard to win with. I couldn't even tell you what a special move is in, in this video. <laughs> is that like a new design for White Lion, or is that supposed to be like a smaller version of Ark, or just another character altogether that I'm unaware of? Wait, is that supposed to be White Lion? And so that was arc. That was like a small version of arc because they do like uh, red arcs uh, level three right here, right there. Excalibur with Melty Blood. They did say that all the updates from here forward are also going to be free. Uh, so there's also going to be two new characters after these two, as well as two more extra stages. Also, someone did make a, a Neko arc. A uh, VTuber model for for free that, that that people could just use, or or they say it was like a free asset. But All right, as for the second character here, we have a uh, Mash Kyrie Light uh, from uh, Fate Grand Order. I don't know anything about this character. I just know they have like a giant shield, pure-hearted demi servant who encountered an unknown. What's a demi servant? An unknown. UMA by chance on the journey to restore her humanity. So this is our second uh, fate crossover character, by the way. Some people were like, "Oh, why would we have her when, when we have?" Uh... <laughs> she said the thing. <laughs> Some people were like, "Why would we have her when we already have like um, powered CO and their like silhouettes are kind of similar?" But does that matter, really, in the end? Oh my god, they're Captain America! <laughs> Charging star and shit! <laughs> no way. <laughs> they're Captain America. I don't play this character. <laughs> uh, I don't know- I don't know if they're gonna be a powerhouse character. I doubt it. Cause, uh, C uh Powered Seal is kind, kind of the- uh, Powered Seal and, and, uh, Coma are like the powerhouse characters, right? I don't know if, they, if they'd add in a third one right now, considering there was one in the last character pat. But, um... They're probably gonna be like a... Maybe a all-rounder. Or, or just like, like, like a balance type character. You know, like, up close, mid-range. They have a normal, uh... They do seem to have a normal, like, combo come around. That's probably an overhead. I, 
I guess Nekork is is a character that she runs into. So in in your story, you're probably gonna see Nekork at some point. <laughs> probably be an actual part to their story with dialogue and all. I'm assuming Nekork is a UMA that they ran into. No, Tiba is dead if it doesn't have White Land. <laughs> Who they might be in the next deal they might be the next one of the next DLC characters, who knows? I want Shiki Ryogi back. I, I want I want Ryogi and I want um Shiki's friend, his his school friend, whatever her name is. The one who does like the ground slams and whatnot. Yeah. So so, so they it's a neck hearts, uh tricky character with, with a bunch of controls. Lots of funny stuff and uh, references, but they're, they're they're hard to win with. Uh, with Mash, th yeah. So Mash is like just your basic uh, bread and butter vanilla character. Uh, lots of straightforward moves. Giant shield. She, well, she uses her, her shield and her attacks, and she can close into the gap quickly with like her her charging star move. They also said that she she usually wins when it comes to trades. This is so, which, which I thought was funny because cause that means with mash, you're going to mash. <laughs> you can mash with mash and, and things and things will work. So uh, similar to how Noel was, like, like how a uh, standard Noel is. With Noel, it says uh, they're a good character for beginners, but not so much for later on. Whereas for mash, uh, she's kind of just standard. They, they don't necessarily say anything f for that. So she's probably just going to be a... a a decent character overall and then here's the battle system adjustments um uh, so, so they're allow, they're gonna allow more freedom in terms of uh combos and, and such because for the most part the vast majority of the cast play the same in terms of like their combo structure right uh they're gonna change that well rather they're gonna open up open it up more uh, so they make some combos that weren't possible before possible as well as they're adding in new moves and making changes to shield. They're nerf they're nerfing shield specifically, so I should say. Also here where it says uh, highlight character distinctions, that that means they're gonna try to make, differentiate the characters in in terms of like their combos and play style. Alright, so for shield, uh, re-examine frame values such as increasing recovery and weaken. So they're they're. They're making shield take uh take longer uh, to recover from, so you, so you're not just always mashing on shield every single chance you get. Um, and they're probably gonna also reduce the amount of health you get back from it, most likely. And I'm assuming that's what it means by weaken. Uh, reduce icon gain on successful shield from two to one. So so uh, so again, uh, that's less meter gain. Uh. And if you hold shield, you actually lose uh, moon drive. So, so that's, I, I think that's a good that's a good call. Um, that way, people aren't just like holding it down. Maybe maybe they'll hold it down for like supers, like like projectile supers that are like multi hit and shit. But outside of that, I don't think um, you'll see people doing that as much anymore. Move landing recovery from j jump attacks are. Remove landing recovery when jump attacks are shielded. I'm assuming from that they mean like if you shield an attack, you don't get the landing recovery. Mid attack, pull back edge slash so, so charge attack. Uh, oh yes, so, so they make either so you can't crouch shield uh, unblockables now. Um, well, un unblockables and overheads, you can't crouch those anymore, or, or crouch shield them anyway. So you'd have to stand shield those. So, so they're actually true overheads and unblock walls. Send shield against crouching. So against mid attacks. So, so, so mids on 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 uh, crouching shield won't be a shield anymore. They're just they're gonna be considered a special guard. So that's gonna be like a new thing that they're going to be implementing in terms of uh, types of defense that happen. I'm not exactly sure what that will mean. Maybe it's like a push block type of thing, but. We'll see. Uh, when converted to guard, shield counters cannot be used. The character will take chip damage and they will lose another moon icon. Neutralizations. That's, I believe, is what they call their clashes. Uh, it's now prevented when hit with a standard move from the back. That 
I don't know why that was even a thing before. Because, so, so what that means is, like, say if you went for a cross-up and someone also threw out an attack, your attack would clash before for whatever reason, even though you were hitting on the other side. That didn't make sense before, but... So, so they changed that, finally. Neutralization has been made less likely for powerful moves like invisible skills and EX specials. Okay. Move throw invincibility for moon drive. Ooh. I don't know how many people are going to be happy about that. Because <laughs> uh, before, that, that means... Because moon drive on wake up was a strong tool. Because uh, you just you just moon drive, see if your opponent's pressing a button, see what they're going to do, and you can react react to it because the game like pauses in that moment. Uh, so if they're already going for like a meaty throw, you're not you you're not gonna be able to just it's not gonna whiff. You're you're still gonna be thrown, so you're gonna have to actually tech that. Uh, repeated aerial dashes in the same direction in Moon Drive. Interesting. I like that actually. That that means that means you could like do multi dash forward instead of having to do dash forward, jump, dash back, type of thing. Adjustment made to easier, make it easier to increase the number of magic circuits when activating moon skills by eliminating the limit to the number of magic circuits to be increased. See that one, I don't understand. Uh. Oh, okay. I, I think I think I get. It. So, so I guess there was a a cap to the amount of meter you can gain from from moon from moon skills. Now you can just gain meter from doing them. So so if your thing will hit multiple times, you're going to get multiple hits from it. I'm assuming. Rather than just like a small chunk. Uh, dash and air dashes reduce time until moves or guard are available. Okay, so, so so they're making dashes better uh, and safer in general. Uh, so you can, because when you dash, you can't just like go straight into block. There's like a recovery there, so so they're shortening that recovery as well as uh, making it so you can you can act out of dashes faster too. Because um, when you're landing from a dash, there's still like like a good chunk of recovery there, but now you can just press a button because they're also getting uh they're also shorting in landing recovery I, i'm pretty sure too so so that's what they mean by that too um the combos with specials and other it's easier to use enable previously impossible combos okay so yeah, yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier they're just uh they're adding new moves they're make they're changing stuff so and old combos are still usable but there's also gonna be room for more creativity they're also adding the damage battle. I mean, the battle damage numbers. Uh, that's most likely going to be under the the combo counter, similar to um, under night, because the games share like a UI for the most part. Uh, so that they're going to be showing that there. I don't know what it means by build up visible in chain mode by the gauge. Enable changes to rapid beat. So rapid beat is what they call their auto combo. Uh, changes to the input method also enable moves that allow A plus B, which I'm pretty sure A plus B is your dash, your, your uh, command dash. If I remember correctly. Oh, so, so so they're gonna make auto combo toggleable for air combos as well as ground combos. I'm not sure how exactly that will go. I'm assuming you'll still be able to get the second hit, but it won't go into launcher if you turn it off. Because there are... Because the rapid beat, in most cases, have a move that aren't available in terms of other button presses. So I'm going to assume that it just doesn't launch. Right? You, it just won't go into the third hit. So you'll have to manually input launch as well as, like, uh, ABC in the air and into a throw. Um, I, I think that's fine. I may or may not turn it off. It, we'll see. Like, like, depending on how often I'll end up using the dashes in combos. Because, like, they, they said they're going to uh, allow you to do A plus B in between stuff also. So we'll see.
so, so turning off the auto combo will help you input that rather rather than it just continuing the the combo. Uh, network mode, they're adding more more ranks. So instead of just being A, B, C, you know, plus and whatever, uh, they're numbering them. So one to five, yada, yada. So there's going to be more ranks. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that really matters. Especially since the player base is so small. Uh, I don't really see the point of that. Um. I guess people just won't be as intimidated. Maybe. I don't know. It seems more like normal for, for this style, I guess. Because that's what they have in, like, say, Soul Calibur and, uh, you know, other other Arxis games where it's like you have Bronze 1, Bronze 4, Bronze 7, or whatever all else. And then your Silvers and whatever. So those are, like, squares and far more uh, between in terms of... Uh, how long it takes to rank up. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, revised ranking calculations for improved playability. I'm assuming that it just means, oh, they're going to have like a bar to show you when your next uh, promotion will be kind of thing. Added higher EX rank above S plus. Okay. So again, just another rank. Improved rank change animations i don't see what the point of that was at all but sure wh whatever um search function improved for better matching in general sure i'll take that i mean as long as i can find more people to play with i i don't care as long as i can play the game really that said they're probably just gonna be adding in more options for that like uh maybe they're gonna have because i'm pretty sure the game is uh, region locked isn't it so they're probably gonna unlock it uh, and have options for what region you want to search in. Because uh, the game is hard to find matches in if you're not doing, like, player matches. Like, like lobbies with people. Uh, so having it uncapped would help for sure. But that said, you still have to consider the way the online works for the game. Because it does have rollback, but it's not the best in the world by any means. Like, like... Uh, Arc other Arxis games have way better online than than, than Multi Blood, but I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, replay mode, I don't care about that. I'm sure most people don't care about that. <laughs> but thank you for the uh, extra options that you guys apply to that. And here they also just talked about how they're going to be adding more characters this winter. So that's pretty much all we have to talk about when it comes to Melty Blood.